Welcome to the Otelia Curator Interface Tutorial. In this uh, video tutorial what we're going to do is just take a quick look around the inside of uh, Otelia Curator and see where everything is and how it works. So the first thing we want to look at really is our 3D work environment which is all of this space. So currently we're inside our default gallery and it's a fully navigable 3D space so you can move around it at will go anywhere you want. Of course you could load your own space that you've created using Ortelia Space Builder in which case uh, the same uh, everything that we're going to deal with in this video will apply. So our starting point is of course the file menus across the top left hand side here. So it's a typical menu, menu system you can create a new exhibition, open one, save it uh, save it as a different name, you can load a different space for example your own uh, default space you can import data from a CMS, so that means you can automatically import images and all their associated information straight in from your CMS. Uh, you can take a screenshot of what you're looking at and of course exit the application. The display menu is simply a way to turn on and off various uh, things you've got in your gallery. So you can turn off all your artworks, your didactic panels, the lights, uh, measurements and notations. Uh, in the window menu what we have is the curate which is essentially turning this curate panel on and off, uh, generating elevations of a selected wall that has artwork on it and saving those to a PDF and setting the uh, graphics settings of the application depending on your computer. And it's a typical help uh, menu with access straight to the reference manual to the Otelia Curator website or to find out which version you're using. So those are the file menus. Now over here we have the curate panel which is really where you do everything uh, in terms of preparing your artwork for hanging. And this is a floating panel so you can move it around the space. So let's start with the gallery tab. So the gallery tab uh, allows you to do things such as paint walls, generate elevations, uh, turn your eye line on and off and manually change the height of that and set it so that artworks will snap to that eye line when you place them. You can also turn on wall IDs uh, and you'll have these in your own pre-built gallery. You can change wall colors so for example we grab this and quickly color it. Those are the RGB values. Of course you can set your own RGB values or if you want you can put in your own Pantone colors. You can generate an elevation of the wall you've got selected. In addition you can create and delete measurements and you can create notations and remove notations from the walls and measurements and notations will be saved in your final save file. Under the lights tab you can create a variety of different common light types used in galleries and depending on the light you can adjust its angle, intensity, focus and rotation. You can set the light color using the color palettes and if the light has shutters or barn doors you can adjust each one of those individually. You can also change the ambient light settings for your gallery space uh, from this tab. You can place lights, you can aim lights and of course you can delete a light. In the frames tab you can choose a 2D artwork and if you choose to you can frame that artwork by checking the frame tab and then setting the width and uh, the inside width and outside width of your outer frame and your backing board and of course you can set colors for that. And finally we have the didactics panel and the didactics panel is where you can create a individual didactic for each artwork you have in your 2D art or 3D artwork list. You can load a folder of pre-formatted didactic images and then associate those with your artwork or you can import a single image. You can also delete didactics from your list. Across the top, these buttons will allow you to place a didactic panel, edit that panel, remove it, or go to it if it's not in view. So effectively, that is the Ortelia Curator interface.